Hey, what's up everybody and welcome back to my channel. Today we will continue with building our hydroponics vertical tower. Let's get straight to it. Okay, hi guys. We've got all the tools and materials. Alright, let's get started. Okay. So this is my PVC pipe, actually, because I wasn't able to order a meter long PVC pipe, I've got half a meter piece and half a meter piece. And this is the joint that was available to buy from Amazon, so I'm putting them two together. Now, unfortunately, I don't know how that happened, but this pump isn't actually a one liter pump. If I read what it says, it's only 60 centimeters. I've tested it in practice and it actually managed to pump up to 770 centimeters. So unfortunately, it's not a two meter pump, which is why I had to put those two pieces together such that they are only about 70 centimeters long, actually 68. So hopefully pumps, pressure and power will be enough to feed this hydroponics tower. Now, the reason I don't have anything on here is because that will be inside the bucket, like that, and pretty much till about half the bucket it will be water, or I'm guessing water with some NPK fertilizers, I still need to figure that out. So I've already made one slot because I was really nervous and I wasn't sure if it will turn out well on camera, so right now I'll try to do another one. So I need to switch that on, actually switch that on on the wall as well. Go. Oh, I need to get a water bottle. Here we are, the last bottle. Okay, now I was following the recommendation of this guy on YouTube. I'll put the link to his video in the description. So he was suggesting that the slots are made about every centimeter, 15 centimeters away from each other. So this is what I'm gonna do. Um, I'll try to make another slot here on the opposite side and then one here and one here. So in total, I'll have four planters, four pots. So I've got them here and I've got the scissors as well. I'll need them later. Well, let's try. It's a heat gun. I'll take this out to make it easier. Oh, forgot. I need to make a slot first. Okay, I've made the slot, and I heat it up. I would say I would leave it for about 20 or 30 seconds and then try. I'm trying to hold the heat gun as close to the PVC pipe as possible. Okay, let's try. Needs a bit more heat. Here we are. I'm trying to fit it and at as flat of an angle as possible as far as possible. Okay, would it fit? It would, but it needs to be a little bit bigger. Well, let's do that. Let's make it a tiny bit bigger. I think it would be much easier to do indoors because it's windy, so the thing doesn't heat up. Probably it cools down, which is why I have to be really, really fast. I might have to do the other slots indoors. So please bear with me. And I'll make another two slots in this bit. A little more. Okay. I'm trying to heat up the surface which I'm going to bend as thoroughly as I can. And then be as quick as I can because it's windy. I'm 
to get a lot of cools down really fast. Alright, so I'm back from my break and what I need to do now is to make sure that the planting baskets will fit in properly because they've got that little rim on the outside that's not allowing it to fit in completely so I'll try to cut them off with scissors and make sure that they fit. So let me do that. So I'm cutting it off. It was actually really windy outside which is why I'm recording the voice over here. So here we are, we're done. They fit in just exactly as I wanted. Let me put them two together, the bottom piece and the top piece. Okay, now what I need to make sure, I need to feed the pipe through and connect it to the pump. So here's the pipe, it doesn't need to be that long. It's 13 millimeters in diameter, exactly as the pumps, they fit. I'm feeding the pipe through, here we are. I'm connecting it to the pump, putting all the pieces together and here we are, it's done. Now, what I need to do, I need to put a piece on top. I have to feed it through, so I'm cutting, I'm drilling a little hole and I'm doing a small hole, and then a slightly bigger hole with a bigger drill bit to make sure it's as easy as possible. Here we are, 13 millimeter in diameter hole, the same diameter as the pipe. Now I'm feeding it through and it's pretty much done. All that is left to do is connect the water, switch on the pump and it will be working. So here it is, a vertical planter in action. I don't yet know how exactly I'm going to feed my greens, but I'll figure that out very soon. Thank you so much for watching this video. Please like, share and subscribe and support me on Patreon. And I'll see you in part three, where we will be talking about how to actually sprout, grow all the greens and roots and uh, vegetables that we like to do, how to properly fertilize them, how to make sure that they get enough water, nutrients, sun and they stay alive. I don't know yet myself, but I'll figure out and you'll be there with me. See you later. Bye bye.